it seems like whenever Ben Shapiro is reminded that transgender people exist, he has another meltdown. So whenever there's some sort of news related to transgender issues or a transgender celebrity comes out, he freaks out and he reiterates to everyone why he is a terrible person and doesn't want to respect who they are. Now, we'll talk about Ben Shapiro, but let me just weigh in uh, and give you my opinion. Usually, I don't care about celebrity-related news, but I think that Elliot Page coming out is really important because culture matters, and there's, like, no representation for trans trans people. So if you're, like, a young trans individual or non-binary individual, you have nobody to look up to, nobody who, you know, you see reflected in media. And that really does matter because we haven't had that cultural revolution when it comes to transgender issues and non-binary issues. So whenever there is a celebrity that speaks up or comes out as trans, I think that that really is significant culturally because that that gives trans youth who are statistically more likely to do self-harm someone to look up to, someone like them, you know, and, and to see the positive response to Elliot Page coming out. I think that that matters and it, it seems trivial if if you don't know you know, uh, how important this is if you're not trans yourself, but it really does matter. I, I promise you it does matter. Like seeing gay celebrities as a child, that really, that was important. Even if back then when I was young, I didn't know that I was gay or identify as gay. Like, you know, I knew I was different, but seeing that it, it helped me to grow and become the person who, you know, I ultimately was, which is a gay dude. Uh, so Elliot came out and Ben Shapiro responded uh, as we'd expect Ben Shapiro to respond. He was offended at the fact that Elliot Page decided to come out. Um, so we're going to talk about what he said. Uh, but first, of course, let's watch. Ellen Page can identify however she wants. I don't care. L really, it makes no difference to me. She is an adult human. She can do whatever she wants. It is a free country. However, it being a free country, I am also free to point out that Ellen Page is, was, and shall remain a woman. Because Ellen Page is, in fact, a woman. Now, I'm happy to call Ellen Page Elliot if she wants to be called Elliot because people change their names all the time. And you can, in fact, change your name by declaration. You cannot, however, change your sex by declaration or your gender by declaration. That is not how this works. There is no other area of life in which people simply declare themselves to be a thing and everybody goes, oh, OK. Right. And an objectively verifiable thing right there. You can declare your sexual orientation. Or you can declare a thing that you like. You can declare that you're a fan of this particular band. You can declare that you have a sexual attraction to X, Y, or Z, right? That's all subjective. And all we have to go on is your behavior, which is objective and your subjective self-assessment. However, when you're declaring something as core as your sex, there is no objectifiable, no objective measure whatsoever, whereby Ellen Page is a man, none, right? She is a woman. And yet we are immediately told by the media that to even address Ellen Page or Elliot Page as a she is discriminatory. It's very bad and very discriminatory. And so you end up with complete inanities and insanities. Okay, so Ellen Page declared that she is now a man. Okay, but she also declared that she is a queer man. Now, this is confusing because if she were a queer man, this would mean that she is attracted to men, which would technically mean that she's a straight woman, right? <laughs> because if she is a, an actual woman attracted to men, this would make her a straight woman. But we know she's not that because she was a lesbian. Right, so she is married to a woman, as far as I'm aware, and that means that she is a lesbian, but now she is a man. And according to her, this means that she is a white, straight male. So how is she queer? She's a white, straight male. So here is how Wikipedia tries to sum this up. You ready for this? According to Wikipedia, in, in, in January 2018, Page publicly announced his marriage to dancer and choreographer Emma Portner. So this means that Ellen Page is a gay man married to a woman, according to Wikipedia, which makes no sense at all, like in any way, shape or form. It's irritating to me because he's trying to prove to people that he's not an asshole, that he wants to respect Elliot. But he goes out of his way to dead name Elliot Page and misgender Elliot Page throughout the entire video. See, if Elliot wants to be called Elliot, that's fine. I'm just going to keep dead naming Elliot and misgendering Elliot on purpose. And if you watch the interview that he did with uh, Joe Rogan when he was talking about Laverne Cox, he had to go out of his way to misgender Laverne Cox. And he accidentally, uh, at least <laughs> accidentally to him, used the correct pronouns, which are she. Transgender woman from uh, Orange is the New Black. I never watched that show. I've never watched that show either, but she's on the cover of Time magazine. Oh. Or he's on the cover of Time magazine. Gotcha, bitch. Trans people exist. 
That's the bottom line. And you can either choose to acknowledge that fact and get over it and try to treat them re with respect so that way they don't want to hurt themselves so society becomes more accepting to them. Or you can continue to be an asshole and throw a temper tantrum whenever somebody else comes out as transgender or tra transgender people or non-binary people make any sort of progress whatsoever. But it's Ben Shapiro. He is a regressive and um, he, he doesn't want to see anyone who doesn't fit into the box that he has created culturally to succeed. So that's why he throws these temper tantrums. That's why he's triggered by the thought that trans people exist. Now he says, you can in fact change your name by declaration. You cannot, however, change your sex by declaration or your gender by declaration. Um, actually you can. And what he is refusing to acknowledge is the difference between sex and and gender. And this is what Republicans do. They pretend as if sex and gender are the same thing. They might be related, but they are not the same thing. Sex refers to what is in between your legs, whereas gender is your expression, right? The expression of masculinity or femininity or none of the above. You could be non-binary. There are people who I know who don't fit into either of these two binary, you know, gender systems. So it, it, it's not as easy as he wants you to believe. He's oversimplifying it and he's saying, look, all this comes down to is, do you have a penis or a vagina? If you have a vagina, then I have to refer to you using a she, her pronouns. If you have a penis, then you're a man. And I'm going to refer to you as, uh, you know, having he, him pronouns. But it's not that simple because let's assume for a moment that Ben Shapiro had a vagina. If that were the case, then wouldn't it be weird using his measures to like refer to Ben Shapiro as her? Because He's a father. He's a husband. He is heterosexual. He identifies as a male. Because, I mean, think about this. In public, you don't assess whether or not someone is man or woman based on if they have a penis or vagina. Because you can't tell. Because human beings wear clothes if they are normal. So, you know, we base our judgment on these issues on gender cues. You know, the way that someone looks or acts. Their clothes. Not their penis or their vagina. Yes, sex refers to biology. Gender does not refer to biology. It is an expression. So he tries to, like, narrowly define what it means to be male or female when that's just, that's not reasonable. Just simply saying, well, you're a man or a woman, depending on what you have between your legs, that's not realistic. It's not realistic. Life is more complicated than that. It's not just about biology. That's not what gender refers to. Hence why there's a difference between sex and gender, which conservatives refuse to acknowledge. They say, well, you know, it's the same thing. Sex is a synonym for gender, when in actuality, it literally is not. Facts don't care about your feelings. Sex is not the same thing as gender. That's a fact. Um, now, he he says that, um, actually, I should be misgendering Ben Shapiro since he was doing that to Elliot. So uh, Ben Shapiro, she said that um, he doesn't, she doesn't know. See how difficult it is to misgender someone on purpose? Uh, she doesn't know whether or not Elliot is straight or gay because Elliot is married to a woman but still identifies as queer and he bases this off of the Wikipedia page. Look, at the end of the day, this is my response. Why do you care so much? Stop caring so much. Like, it's so weird to me that he focuses on this so much and spends so much time trying to think about somebody else and what they identify as, who they sleep with, what they have between their legs. If you're not transgender or gay or non-binary, get over it. Like, that's that's the easiest thing that I can say to maybe ameliorate your, your suffering right now. Stop thinking about it. But I suspect that the reason why individuals who are like openly homophobic or openly transphobic like Ben Shapiro, Stephen Crowder is because there's some struggle going on with them. And of course, this this is just speculation. But there was an article that recently dropped where a Hungarian politician who was anti-gay was caught attending an orgy with 25 men. And I think that that story is relevant because usually the loudest homophobes and transphobes are usually in the closet right? They're projecting uh, their denial onto the rest of the world, right? And so maybe it's the case that Ben Shapiro is transgender and he doesn't want to come out as transgender, you know? So so he will completely tell himself, I, I can't be a woman. I can't be a woman. I have a penis. I have a penis. I have a penis. And like he has to say that over and over again. And it's almost to the point where it's like, well, who are you trying to convince? Are you trying to convince us or yourself? And the same is true for Steven Crowder, where he like was harping away at uh, how bad it is to be gay and was harassing Carlos Maza for over a year. And you, you've got to ask, why do you care this much? It quite literally does not affect your life. Again, gay and trans people are going to exist 
like it or not? Are you going to choose to let them live in peace and give them equal rights? Or are you going to go out of your way to dead name them and misgender them just to be an asshole so you can smugly say, well, I'm correct because I am, I'm citing science. Like, what you're saying is not just dickish, it's incorrect. They use the science argument, but then they purposefully omit key details that sex and gender are not the same thing, and then they talk about this way more than any normal person would. Like, I'm sure that transgender people haven't thought about trans issues as much as Ben Shapiro has. So that, that begs the question, like, are you suffering yourself? Do you need to come out as trans or gay, Ben? Like, I just, I don't understand it. Like, I, as a gay dude, have not thought about homosexuality as much as some of, of these conservatives have, right? So you have to wonder, why do you care this much? And I'll leave it at that because I think that a lot of this is projection. Like they're trying to convince themselves rather than their audiences. Uh, that or they're just assholes, but regardless, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm really thankful that Elliot came out because again, this is super important. Trans youth, they don't have many role models, especially ones who are transitioning, right? They learn that someone is transgender usually, but coming out as transgender or non-binary, that's something that still isn't normalized in society. It's very uncommon. So to see this, this is important. Like of all the celebrity news, this is the only thing that actually can have a meaningful impact on people's lives in a positive way because trans youth need to see themselves reflected in people who are popular and famous. And this is, this is important. So, you know, Ben Shapiro can shit on it all he wants, but I think that more people need to question why he thinks about this so much, why every time there's transgender news, he gets so mad. Like, that's not normal to be that mad unless it affects you personally. Wet, 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 wet,